Hi guys, welcome back to another very exciting video. I'm so excited for this one because I learned a lot doing this and I wanted to share my experience with you all. So before I go to Nepal, I worked on this exciting project for a restaurant to film food. So I'm going to share with you all 5 videos that I created for this restaurant. It was a one day shoot, I had a Canon 80D and one light, uh, we'll talk about it in detail. So without further ado, let's get to it. That's the first video, what do you guys think? It wasn't easy as it looks, there was research involved and what gear and how to film and the angles and the soundtrack and the feel. So you have to think of all this before you go and start filming. So if you know that, it's easier for you to start filming. So before I go, I did my research and I know what light, uh, I got the Godox LED. There was not enough budget to play around with, so Godox LED light works and then the Canon 80D for sure. So most of it was filmed in 60 frames per second so I knew I can slow it down when I want. So the research really helps. So you know how to like the scene, from where to like the scene, all of that is in your head. So once you go to start filming, it's so easy that uh, you're so comfortable, you know where to place the light, you know how to film it, how the angles you need, so everything uh, you already know. So it's not that hard for you to start filming and getting a good job done. Being comfortable with the person who is doing the action. This is really important because I am bad at cooking. That's really bad. When you're comfortable with the person, he would show you demos of what he's gonna do before you're gonna do. So if you're not in sync with the person who's doing the actions, you're not gonna get the shots you need. He's not gonna do what you say. So it's gonna ultimately affect your video. So this is very compulsory. So in my scenario, the chef would show me what he's gonna do next before he does it. So it helps me to understand where his hands would be moving next which makes it easy for both of us to work together. So the next thing is identifying an audio track before you go. Yeah, you have to do this before you go. So the audio keeps playing in your head while you're filming, which makes it more easier and you will get more ideas, new ideas, new angles of how it would help the soundtrack and the video together. So that's all the videos I worked on. So I learned a lot from this project and I wanted to share the experience with you all so you all know how to do if you get a project like this. The biggest takeaway for me from this project was 
the research. It's really important to know how you're gonna light the scene because it felt really easy once I went there and I knew exactly how to like do the lighting and I had an idea of the angles already. That's about that video. If you learned something out of this, comment down below. So before you go, I have a very exciting news. I'm planning to feature inspiring success stories of creatives that I have met in my life and that I'll be meeting in the future right here on this channel. It's going to be a web series every week. Stay tuned.